So these are all our bypass buttons right here, or most of them are anyways. Uh, we also have a starting mullet so that one person can start the lift from the bottom. That's only for maintenance. So we'll open this up. So this is where our safety circuits guts are. So we have a bunch of relay switches here, as you said. Um, and then all these are all in codes and things like that, and they will all be connected to uh, everything from all the flag sensors in our terminal to the RPD sensors, everything that runs through here. And it runs through these computers, our CPUs right here. And then, so yeah, those are like a big part of the system. And it's annoying to change batteries in them because you never know which one to go. Yeah. And I'll just tell you that a battery is low and you need to find it. I mean, you can see some of these relays here. Local and remote, normal stop, local and remote e-stop. So these ones here will control our stops and let us know what those do. So if there's like something wrong with the, the lift, would one of those lights go off then or like? Yes. Yeah, they're either supposed to be on or off and it'll tell us we have a, a black. So this book right here has every single stop code in it and it will tell us why potential reasons it is stopped and it will give us the correct procedure to follow through and fix it as well as if we can load people or if we can't. It will let us know all that stuff in here and then it will also tell us which relays to look at as well. Awesome. So yeah, this one here, it has a couple of relays that we need to check and make sure they're fired, NSP1 and NSP2. Which so we have NSP1 here and NSP2. Correctly labeled, those ones are fired, obviously, because we don't have a service break, we'll only fault on the left right now. So, I mean, if we did, then these two relays here would be out.